I know where I messed up, but I do have the technical skill not to throw you under the bus, bro. But it took your whole team to help you pull three arrows. The Are challenge. you going to be you able to meet tattoo the, challenge. Did you the meet rest it? of the competition like Did that? Not. I'm a better, I'm fundamentally. You may be, but you wasn't on this tattoo. I'm not going home. Morning, everybody. You have six hours to complete your tattoo. The judges will be looking for highly imaginative art that turns bad work into something your canvases can be proud of. I was very nervous. Lord. I'm glad that I'm not mm -hmm. freaking out. Detach. <laughs> What's up, man? How's it looking? It's coming along good. I'm getting the cover up on right there. I'm gonna do it with this uh, food dog. Nice. You do a lot of Japanese? No. I just do whatever the customer bring. Oh, yeah? An ink master is somebody that could actually take on any style. Anything that the client has in mind, they'll take that idea, adopt it to their style, and give it back to the client in the most beautiful, flawless way. That's an ink master. The tattoos are finished. Now it's time to take a look at the work and judge it. Welcome artists. Me, Tat. So you had to cover up the Pegasus. Yeah. How'd it go for you? It went good. Just trying to make it disappear. You have to be able to line these things right. If you're going to do the circles in the top of the hair of the food dog, it's got to be that smooth motion. You're bumped. You're lumped. You're not straight. You look nervous. You are off. It's my opinion. Jeremy and BTAP, you guys are the bottom two. Tell us why you think you should stay here in this competition. BTAP. I feel like the tattoo I did covered the aspect of doing the cover-up, and I would just like another chance to prove myself. I don't know if it's nerves. I don't know if it's lack of experience. Your line work didn't come out the way your drawing looked. It's not cool to do stuff that you can't pull off. I'm sorry, man, but this is all around bad. One of you will be sent home. BTAP, you don't have what it takes to be Ink Master. I need you to pack up your machines and close shop. All right, man. For today's elimination tattoo, we're testing your fundamental tattoo skills. You have six hours, and your time starts now. I know if I the judges are gonna send me packing. There's a lot of talented people here f***ing their pants. This has to be the best angel I've ever done. Somebody didn't do her homework. Are you nervous? Oh, super nervous. Super nervous? Yes. Oh, great. Well, you know what? So am I. <laughs> I'm really, really, really excited about this. I think I'm really gonna impress the judges. The placement's great. I'm using a lot of pretty color. I'm determined to show the judges that I know what I'm doing. I'm not doing so bad. Good. CJ, keep rocking. I actually think CJ's tattoo is pretty weak, and this might be a bit of a dick move, but I'm actually encouraging her. Sometimes a false sense of security goes a long ways. It's one spot, man. It's not good. I'm pissed at myself. I'm disappointed with myself. Just wish I would have had the time to, like, really do those little tiny tweaks. These judges are going to tear me up. It's going to be way brutal. Welcome, artists. This was the judge's first chance to see what you can do on real live skin. This week, your elimination tattoo was giving a virgin their first ink. We were testing your fundamentals. CJ. How are you doing? I'm freaking out. I'm not a fan of the colored outline. Well, I was kind of going for a softer feel. That brown outline looks like Look at the outline of that hand. I believe that over time, it's gonna get even worse. There's a lot of stuff done almost exclusively with color, and I, th I think it holds up great over time. You did a pretty face, which bums me out, because if you would've just done it with a black outline, you would be standing in different shoes. You've had a rough start. Man, your ink blew up and this and that. I know, dude, I feel you, and I wanna see you do great and you prove that you kind of know how to do certain things by doing that face that way but how do you do that face and then just move off to the right and lose it you got to pick it up cj k cutter 
Neither of you impressed us tonight. CJ, let's take a look at your tattoo. Can you read for us what it says on that banner? First Corinthians 13, one through seven. Read it again. Sound it out phonetically. Cor... Corinthians is misspelled. What happened there? I don't know. I don't know how I missed that. 80 to 90% of what I do is a cover up. So for me, it's an easy fix. How are you gonna make that T and I? If, if I plug it real hard with some whites and ochres. Then what do you do about the jacked up word? It's just a difference between an I and a T. That's an easy fix. You should work at a plastic surgeon's office then because you'd make a load of money. I call total bull on that theory. I don't believe it. Either one of you could justifiably be sent home tonight. The judges have decided. CJ, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack up your machines and close up shop. Artists, today you must cover up a prison tattoo, proving your flexibility. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time begins now. Get it on. Do it, man. My canvas wants a realistic baboon. It's a badass looking design, but it's a lot of work to get done with all the texture and detail in six hours. Why'd you have to pick something with all that fur, man? I could be really shooting myself in the foot here. This week, we tested your flexibility by asking you to cover prison tattoos. Frank. And this is a rough one, man. I tried to go a little bit ballsy. I knew there was gonna be a lot of detail. But the detail, this does not translate. If you just saw the tongue, you're not gonna know that's a tongue. It's like a ball sack. <laughs> There's not one clean bit of outline anywhere. You showed me everything you can't do. Don't do things to point out your weaknesses. Do things to point out your strengths. Frank, Maddie, Mike, you are all in the bottom, and one of you will be getting a death sentence. Frank. You didn't get any of the textures, from the hair to the mouth to the teeth. I really dug the mouth, man. When you match up the technical aspects of tattooing, like line, shade, color, we're missing everything to judge. I don't think all the shading's bad on that. I think there's some really solid parts that I really dig. The judges have decided. Frank. You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. There's not much in this to compare to the other two people that are in the bottom with you. You got outdone. Please pack your machines and close shop. Welcome, artists. This week, it's earn your shop or go home. Kyle, Maddie, Scott, Sausage, Ashley, and Jim. You earned your shops and will not tattoo today. You have one more chance. You must show us why you deserve to be here. Today, your canvases are completely open. You'll have six hours to tattoo them with the design of your choice in the style of your choice. All right. Most of the past season, we've had artists that have come on and not got to show their style and gone home before they even had a chance. Now you have the ability to show us that it's worth you being here. We want to see what it is that you like to do. I have not earned my shop. I am pretty damn nervous. What you doing, Damon? Go with this, with day to dead type of thing. The drawing's nice, dude. I've only been tattooing for the last three years, but I spent four years in art school. I have an extremely strong artistic background. Jesus Christ, time has flown by. I am an underdog, but I have a big mother bite. Oh my God, damn. You seem to be bugging out a little bit. Yeah. Damon can draw, but he can't tattoo. If he gets a shop, it's an injustice to a real tattoo artist. What'd you come up with, can I look? This is a very detailed tattoo. Yeah, you got any worries on time here? Yeah, I was just gonna say the same thing. Yeah, a little bit. Damon has bitten off more than he can chew. His line work is shaky, and he's trying to pull out tricks that high-level artists rarely attempt. She looks so good. 
Damon's Day of the Dead Girl. The part in her hair looks like a giant scar, like she had an axe wound. It's way too wide, it's way too light. If my girl came home with that, I'd have a serious problem with Damon. This week, you're fighting for an Ink Master shot, and one of you won't get one. Damon. Your inexperience really shows. The shading in the spider web on her forehead, very splotchy. There is a lot of inconsistencies, a lot of weak outlines. It is just not smooth. There was no care, attention, or detail put into this. I honestly didn't think it was, like, that bad. If you cannot see the many problems with your outline, then you have a major issue. Roland, Randy, Damon. Any one of you could justifiably be sent home. Right. Damon. Your tattoos in the convention setting, very, very rough. This tattoo is riddled with a lot of different problems. Line work is still a major issue. I bit off a little bit more than I can chew with the size of it. But next time, it's a much more controlled bite. The judges have decided. Randy. You have earned a shop. Congratulations. Thank you. Damon and Roland. The judges have decided. Roland, you've earned a shop. Have a seat. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I won't let you down. Damon, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. What's coming, you're not ready for. This is a tough house to come into when you're not ready to be here. Please pack your machines and go home. You and your rival must tattoo head to head. One rival will win and one rival will lose. Lose and you could end up being the first artist to pack your machines and close shop. You've been randomly assigned an open canvas and you will have four hours to tattoo. But there is a catch. Your rival will impact your fate because your rival will pick the style you must tattoo. This is gonna be great. Julia, what style do you pick for Caroline? Neo-traditional. Caroline, what style do you pick for Julia? Biomechanical. <laughs> Let's head to the shop and meet your canvases, and good luck. Julia, it's nice to meet you. How are you? I was assigned to do cursive lettering. Do you have any particular type of imagery that you're into as opposed to any other? I like skulls. Skulls, roses. <sighs> any other imagery besides skulls and roses, or that's what you're? No. Yeah. All right. Again, I'm doing skull and roses, which I got yelled at for before. And I'm doing it in neo-traditional, which I have no idea what I'm doing. But I did give Julia biomechanical, and I know she sucks at it. Have you ever been tattooed by a lady before? Uh, no. It'll be like getting tattooed by an angel. <laughs> I am going to be Julia. Experience always trumps inexperience. Oh, you went for the skull and the rose. Skulls and roses again? Caroline, did you not learn in that last challenge? If you're trying to redeem yourself, you need to go back to the drawing board. What do you think? Looks awesome. All right, sweet. Looks real good. Caroline's tattoo has horrible lines, horrible shading. The design is just garbage. All right, well, we'll wrap you up. OK. There is no chance in hell that Caroline is going to beat me in this face-off challenge. Today, your rival assigned you a style that they thought would get you out of the competition for good. Let's see how you did. Caroline, let's start with you. Julia, why did you assign neo-traditional for Caroline? Because she has horrible line work, and she never uses thick lines. Well, Caroline, I feel like your rival definitely picked a weak point to show us. You definitely have a struggle with the outline. Your rose sits very flat, no leaves at all. This same tan, beige, sandalwood, whatever the you want to call it, color that you just put into the skull, it's very lackluster. Mark, Taisha, and Caroline, please step forward. Your rivals defeated you, and any one of you could be eliminated. Caroline. Being able to operate under pressure is what this competition is all about. I've had a lot, a lot going on for a very long time. 
and it sort of takes you out. You know, you let other obstacles in life get in your way, you know? Why is she here? I just say to everybody, leave your worries at home and focus on this competition. The judges have decided. Caroline, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. OK, artists, you will have six hours to tattoo whatever your canvas wants. If your tattoo is the worst, you will be the first artist to pack your machines. Good luck. Real nice. The chain came out real nice. Thanks, dude. You're doing a portrait, and you failed at it, man. Master that before you do it. Otherwise, you're going to fail. Today, nine of you needed to prove your overall ability tattooing your canvases with the subject and style they chose. Brian. The overall ability in this tattoo is questionable. You completely lost it on the lettering. Looking at the E, look how many wobbles and stuff there are in a line that's about that big. If you can't pull a line this big, how are you going to pull a line this big? I can do it. I can pull clean lines, and I'm confident in that. I didn't show it. Hell of a time to hold back. Today, you had one last chance to prove your overall ability. Based on your work, one of you will be the first artist to pack your machines. Brian. When I get down to it, the fundamentals, this lettering doesn't do it, man. I wanted to give you something in the first tattoo, and then to the best of my ability, give you something completely different on the other side of the spectrum in the second tattoo. Would you say that that mayhem is the best of your ability? I didn't give you the exact same thing twice. The judges have decided, Brian, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Today, St. Mark is not only entering the competition, but he's also calling the shots. What's the first elimination tattoo? The subject matter will be the seven deadly sins. Ooh. We'll be doing this in black and gray. We will be using our shaders only. Seriously? It's the dumbest I ever heard in my life. It's almost impossible to only use shaders because they're flat. They're not meant for outlining. They're meant for shading. So you really have to know the tricks to really angle the needle a certain way to get a crisp, clean outline. Excited? Good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. St. Mark issuing the challenge to only use a shader. He's really pushing these other artists to be on his level. You got the best guy here. I think a lot of these artists are going to have trouble with the way that they assemble the piece to make their shader a powerful weapon. We're definitely limited. I need to design something with no outline. It's going to look good. I hope this group came to play. This is what it takes to be in the competition. How committed are you to the left side of your head? I want to tap my head. I'm running all the game in the world to get a remover tattoo, but she is stuck on the head. The only thing is, with this challenge, we're not allowed to use liners. I know. I want to do my head. I'm just a little worried on how she's going to be able to take it. I'm stuck on the head, 100%. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, this lady wants her head tattooed. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't convince her to move it to a different place. <laughs> and now she's crying. <laughs> she's squirming. This is a nightmare. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely a competitive person by nature. All kids from the hood, we're all trying to achieve something because we come from nothing. I do have my own style, which is a mix of neo-traditionalism with realism. You're not going to really get that from anybody else. Nobody told you to be so talented. How dare you? I'm a badass tattoo artist. Only place I could go next is to be Ink Master. Today, St. Mark challenged you to take on his specialty, black and gray tattoos using only shaders. Corey, it's just got an overall rough feel to it. She wanted so much in such a small area. This is three elements. It doesn't really look like it's that much. Your details did not come through. The mouth of this thing is super crooked. The jawline is really, really rough. Your man, St. Mark, he did his job, and this one got the best of you, in my opinion. For your first elimination tattoo, you are being judged on the fundamentals. Based on your work, one of you will be the first to go home. Corey. Contrasting your tattoo to St. Mark's, you guys are basically head to head, snakes and faces. So you tell me where you got him beat. He designed his challenge. He was supposed to stay on campus. Would you say that your shading outdoes Mark? My snake is better than that top snake he did. No chance. My hair is better than his hair. The shader challenge just got you. And that was what he set out to do. Had you have had a liner, this could be completely different, but he rattled you. And it looks obvious. The judges have decided, Corey. 
you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. You will have six hours to show flawless composition by tattooing Medusa. Based on your work, one of you will be the first artist to close shop. Ooh. Good luck. Medusas are the Achilles heel for all tattooers. It takes a pretty lady's face, it takes perfect snakes, it takes perfect composition. You want to do like a bust so you can get more detail in like the snakes and the head? Yes. OK, perfect. Full body Medusa. Full body. With a skull face. Skull face. Looking down at a victim she's turned to stone. Jesus, God. This is a tattoo that needs to be hand drawn to find that flow, to find that rhythm. I'm just going to place it where I think it looks good, OK? Might have to sketch a little bit of this on them. If you just cut and paste a bunch of snakes to a pretty lady face, you're going to have problems. Here we go. Carolyn was doing good until she put that background in. I'm really hoping to see more of my strengths than this one. I almost didn't even make it onto a team. I was the last pick. At this point, I need to not feel like the underdog. I put a lot of things on hold. My whole life, my kids. I need to nail this down. Today, you had to show perfect composition by tattooing Medusa. Team Nunez, let's see how you did. Carolyn. The back side of the tattoo is very unfinished. She literally just has this little bit of a face that's floating in this mess that, from a distance, is really hard to tell what's going on. I ran out of time, and I had to focus a little bit more on the face rather than the smoke. These outlines and this shading, it has a very single needle prison machine look to it. And you have all the tools. That's not a good thing. You're on my team. I want to sugarcoat it as much as possible, but it's not possible. This quality does not stand up. You're hanging yourself. Today, you had to tattoo Medusa. Based on your work, one of you will be the first artist to pack your machines. Carolyn, I feel like you're overconfident. I no, think that this no, no, tattoo no, no, no. shows. I don't think I'm overconfident. This Actually, that's the thing is that I was holding back a lot. From any distance at all, it's an eyes, a nose, and a mouth, and who knows what else. It's a mess. I don't think my tattoo is worse than his. There's ways to make that image look better instead of making little yarns coming out of the head. All right, guys, time to determine who's going home. Here's where I'm at, and here's how it falls. Carolyn's report card is the worst of the three. I haven't done tattoos period. like that since I started tattooing. Traditional day, Tito beat you. Geisha day, Tito beat you. I'm sure at home, you are much better than you are in a pressure cooker. I but this pressure say, I, cooker. I know you're gonna about to say my name, but I think you're gonna make a huge goddamn mistake. My vote is for Carolyn to go home. The judges have decided. Carolyn, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. This is a tough environment. It is not for everybody. It's a lot of pressure. All right, Carolyn, please pack your machines and close shop. You will have six hours to tattoo in any style you choose. And your canvases are completely open. But you must use one of these animals and no other reference. Only using live reference? It's so unpredictable. You can't draw what you see if it's moving constantly. Drawing is everything in this competition. Today, I'm hoping that somebody can actually draw from life and show me details. Because you're cool, I'm cool. Yeah, I can do that. The hardest part about tattooing when you are a team and you're tagging in and out every hour is who's micromanaging? No, no, just bring it up right there. Who's backseat driving? Who's in control? Go a little bit in, right there. They're going to have to be on the same page to come up with a drawing that they can both execute. Right, Michael, I believe it's in your hands. Let the fun begin. You're killing a brother. Thank Proud you. of you, huh? We're a big family. This is my brother for another mother. Yep. Probably a bit more black right in that area. Just to push it. At the end of the day, I want to show my family that here in the United States, you can make your dreams come true. We're here to win it. This is a good tattoo. This is the best snake out there. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Very, very confident. For sure. Today, you had to prove the strength of your shop by creating a tattoo using only live reference. Based on your work, one shop will be the first to go home. Let's see how you did. Thicker than blood. This, to me, doesn't look like the snake that came in.
For me, it looked like a stain, and everybody else here knows it. Look at the top line of the head. Look how it goes across all the way to the back of the body. See that hard line you put in? So you just took that thing's head, and you just took its body, and you went <laughs> and broke it there. So it's already got a snap spine. It's completely anatomically impossible. You're not showing us that you can draw from life. So now we got to get down to tattooing. Application versus application, there's a clear victor. Thicker than blood, the judges have decided you do not have what it takes to be master shop. You guys got a lot of heart being here, man. Keep going, learn, and grow from it. Please pack your machines and move out. You'll have six hours to demonstrate your fundamentals and tattoo a maze. Hit a dead end, and it is game over. Good luck. The challenge in doing a maze for a lot of these artists will be their fundamental skills. It's a maze. What do I want to say? Clean lines. Straight lines. It's really the ABCs of tattooing, their line work, their shading, and how it is that they will be able to draw in what other elements are existing in the piece with the maze. Like this? Yep. Exactly. That's where art needs to happen. Ready? Yep. Don't look right now, but Garrett's line work is not as waggling. Find your worst line, drop shadow from that point on. This is a line challenge, and this thing's got to be bulletproof. Just got to make sure every line meets up. There are people here who are doing like five lines when I'm doing 500. You have the longest line work in the room right now. OK. Fix it now. I understand why Steve's doing what he's doing, but it's only making me freak out more. Today, you had to prove your fundamentals tattooing a maze. Team Steve, you're up first. Let's start with Garrett. This one, it looks like a struggle. A lot of areas where your outlines just get carried away. I've been super nervous since I got here, so I think that's really showing. A lot of areas where you went and you built up. Once you build up one or two times, three or four is going to cut them. You got a lot of divots. In my defense, I did have the most line intensive piece in the room. You're fighting yourself a lot on this tattoo, and it shows in the end. Today, you had to tattoo a maze. And based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Let's hear from the coaches. Why did you vote Garrett to the bottom? Breaking it down to fundamentals. That type of damage to the skin, that's just a deal breaker. I had a bunch of hiccups today. I guarantee that's not going to happen again. I'm going to get my nerves under control. I have that technical stuff down 100%. I'm a much stronger artist than the majority of the people here, and I think my tattoo is way prettier than theirs. I could have totally put black all the way up against my lines, like in Deanna's. I just chose not to. If I get another chance, you'll never see another blowout from me. And I can guarantee that. All right, judges, it's time to determine who's going home. Just to look at him, I like Garrett's the best. As challenged as Deanna's tattoo is, it fits the back nice. Amanda's tattoo is just difficult to read. I'd vote for Amanda only for one reason. The other two are just a little more pleasing to look at. I'm forever going to be the cut judge. If you cut, you go. So my vote's for Garrett to go home. The judges have decided, Garrett, you do not have what it takes to be an ink master. I just think you guys are making a mistake. You got the chops, man. Unfortunately, just one little mistake here or there. Send you home, come back 10 times stronger, and kick some ass. All right, Garrett, please pack your machines and close shop. You will have six hours to show solid fundamentals tattooing a clock. Fail to impress the judges, and your time in this competition will be up. Good luck. Get him, guys. I was kind of thinking, like the leaves, like everything, like the ornaments yeah. in the back. I like that. I'm already going to this winning. I'm doing black and gray and not color. My goal now is to make sure this is the best tattoo I can do, so that way this backfires on Team Clean. You got it. Man, I think I need to go show coach their you're team you're more you're than us. Yeah, no, we're good. Go teach them something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we're all right. This is a living nightmare. Trying to say shame on this part. Oh, you lying. Every time I try to pull a line, this girl's stomach is moving. She's shaking in pain. And the line work is rough. I'm hoping to get the brownie points for doing it on the sternum. Gonzo's not even done outlining yet. No. I swear to God. If Gonzo don't finish, that's a that's a no-brainer. Yeah. Gonzo is Gonzo. I'm proud of you. Tattoo of the day. I think this is really gonna shake everybody up. Dude, yours is. Jeez, I couldn't believe it. 
don't know what you mean by beat. Like, beat that bullshit shot you guys like, took. Like, those lines were beat. How'd it go, dog? It went out the door. It went woo. Nervous? I'm not nervous at all. I've seen plenty. I'd be nervous. <laughs> Today, you had to prove your fundamentals tattooing a clock. Gonzo. This tattoo is drastically unfinished. Multiple areas just do not have completed lines. You look at the top, the winder, the ring. Those lines don't even line up. They're not even centered. Every time I tried to pull a line on her, she was gasping. Everywhere you look on this tattoo, it is jacked. Today, you had to prove your fundamentals, and based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Clean. Why did your team vote Gonzo to the bottom? We felt that the tattoo was unfinished and it had the least amount of technical ability and fundamentals. I don't think you can look at the shading on that and not see that there is a skill set that it takes to do that. But the basic number one fundamental we're looking for today is outline. And it's hard to find any good outline in this thing. I'm not one for like the boohoo for me or like pity case or making excuses for but this is not what I do. I am not the tattooer to go home out of this three. I'm not putting my family and myself through this for nothing. All three of these are ridiculously challenged on every level. Oddly enough, the shading that he's got going there is my favorite part of the three, and it's a horrible tattoo. I'm not trying to defend it. As flawed as all of them are, JP's at least has an immediate appealing look even though Austin's composition is bad, to a layman, it looks like what it is. Just, I can't get past Gonzo's tattoo. The judges have decided, Gonzo, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I'm bummed out. You know I love you, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Please pack your machines and close shop. All right, Tito, Tim, and Jason, this is your last chance to save yourself from elimination. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. I like that design, man. I agree. I want to make sure this piece is more of a composition than just a floating lady. I like the concept of it a lot. Yeah, I like how different it is. A pinup girl tied to a stake with a snake, and she is on fire, so she's actually being burned like a witch, and we're just gonna make this tattoo badass. I definitely like the color palette that he has set up. Tim, we're in your corner. Yep. I'm gonna do my best. Three hours down, three hours to go. How are you feeling on time? I'm just chilling. We got your back. That's awesome. I came into this competition with blind trust, thinking that we were going to work as a team. I don't think that you deserve to be here. That line works so okay. solid. It's what it is. I'm going to have fun. Blast them through it. You got this. Yeah. Now I'm starting to realize I don't know who to trust. Probably nobody. It turned out perfect. It did. This tattoo is badass. It has compositional elements to it. I'm stoked. Yes, you love it? Yes, I love it. Thank right. you. No worries. Today, you faced off in a battle for survival. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Tim. It's a lot, man. It's a lot of moving parts here, and it's a lot for us to look at. I think I made it more like a traditional composition than just the pinup. The decision in taking on this big tattoo with all this stuff in it, you get an unfinished feel. A cloud background that's just an outline with no shading or no color in it. Nothing here looks like you're finished. <laughs> You don't hit any kind of saturation. The strongest saturation that you hit is in her cheeks. This very stern brown, which is the brown of the steak, which is one shade in certain places off of the belly. And the belly of the snake and the steak, they are really, really side by side in color. The more you give us, the more we have to judge. It's time to determine who's going home. Technically, Tim is the most challenged in the three tattoos. Tim to go home. The judges have decided. Tim, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I guess this just wasn't for me, you know what I'm saying? Please pack your machines and close shop. We'll see you later. Peace out. All right, artists, this is your last chance to avoid elimination. You have six hours to do a patriotic tattoo, and your time starts now. I've never tattooed a bell before or anything that was supposed to have a reflective surface and a wood grain at the same time. How are you going to change up like the metals and the woods on this side? 
Emulating wood is easy. It's getting something to look round. shiny and round is hard. I have a chance to redeem myself. If they think I'm gonna back down because I don't have the most experience, they have another thing coming. Five, four, three, two, one. Time is up, machine's down. No more ink. Oh, I just got done. Damn, dude, that's awesome. Oh, man. You killed it. Yeah. That's badass. Good enough to keep me from the bottom? Oh, I would imagine that's good enough to shoot you up to the top. The second you think you know what's happening on Ink Master, you don't know anything at all. Today, you had to face off for your survival creating patriotic tattoos. Based solely on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Nichelle. It definitely has an unfinished feel to it. Pretty much nowhere in the tattoo you have any really rich, solid black. The only place that you did put it was behind your image. If your background richness was in the bell, it would look completely different. Best way to show light is with black. Oh, piss on myself. All right, judges, it is time to determine who's going home. Jason has the most problems, technically. I can't back that vote. I would argue that there are some tattoos out there that aren't even competitive. Did Emac just play smart yeah. and clean? For me, I think that Nichelle struggled. Fundamentally speaking, Jason's outline versus Nichelle's. Jason's saturation versus Nichelle's. I know where I messed up, but I do have the technical skill, not to throw you under the bus, bro, but it took your whole team to help you pull Three arrows? The Are you going to be you able to meet tattoo the, challenge. Did you the meet rest it? of the competition like did that? Not. I'm a better, I'm fundamentally. You may be, but you wasn't on this tattoo. I'm not going home. I go back and forth, and I got to fall down on Michelle. <laughs> the judges have decided, Michelle, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Wow. Today, it's, it's the way it fell, and I think you just got the jitters. Please pack your machines and head out. I've gotten to where I am in life because I listened to my gut, and I didn't do that while I was here. Thank you. So when I go back home, I'm just gonna trust myself like I always have. I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna kill it. <laughs>